Good morning, motor cars. Today is Thursday, July 25th. Today's word of the day is retention. Chuck talks about retention every day. 85% service retention and 70% sales retention. What do these numbers really mean? Well, in service, it means that 85% of our guests should come back. We hope they come back. So if we had 800 customers come in for service today, we would love to have 85 of those same folks come back within seven to eight months. In sales, it means that if we uh, sell 100 cars in a month, we would love for 70% of those customers to repurchase with us again. Lofty goals. Why does Chuck preach about retention day after day in the word of the day and throughout his message to us as associates? Why does he preach about retention instead of gross profit like most owners would? Well, it's simple. Chuck understands who pays our salaries. It's our customers. And without our customers buying our products and services, we would not have jobs. His goal is that everybody in this dealership, in both dealerships and the body shop, understands how vital it is for retention. See, it's much easier to understand it's much easier to uh, keep a customer than it is to acquire new customers. And until everybody understands that whole philosophy, we will not grow our business. Sitting at your desks and workstations listening to this this morning or this afternoon, you may think that retention is only a manager's job. If you think that, then flat out you need to rethink what value you add to our corporation. Everybody. Everybody is equally responsible for retention, and if we all adhere to the same values of taking care of our customers, then we will grow our business. When you hear a phone ring, do you answer it or do you ignore it because you're too busy? When a guest enters our dealership, do you hustle to greet them, hopefully by name, or do you avoid the situation because you got something else to do? So, what can you do? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's critical that we understand when a guest enter, enters our facility or calls us, it's not an annoyance, it's not an inconvenience, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to either succeed or to fail. If you think about it, if a guest comes to motor, if you think about it, a guest only comes to motor cars once, twice, maybe three times a year. We need to treat every guest with enthusiasm. And we need to thank them for coming to motor cars. We need to sell them value. We are better than the others, and value trumps price every day. We need to fulfill their needs. Never say no. Find a way to get it done. We need to adapt to the situations and overcome obstacles. We need to thank each guest for coming in or for just calling. Every guest is an opportunity to gain retention. Are we asking for sales referrals? Are we following up with our service customers? Are we making, not just asking for the next service appointment? Do we assure, tech, do we assure that cars are fixed right the first time? What can you do every day to make customers experience at motor cars a positive mo moment? It is up to everybody from valets to receptionists to service and sales personnel to exceed customers' expectations. Every guest is a unique. Every guest is unique and every situation is also unique. There isn't a script to follow. What we need to do to retain our guests is have an attitude that everybody knows is my job to assure all customers come back. It's empowerment. You all have it. Use it. This day in history, 1956, the Italian liner Andrea Doria sank after colliding with a Swedish ship Stockholm off the New England coast, killing 51 people. In 1978, the first test tube baby, Lewis Brown, is born in England. Only a couple birthdays today. Ardell Cloud, uh, sales in Toyota, happy birthday. And Justin Mumford, five years of service with Toyota. Good job, Justin. Thank you very much and have a great day.